Welcome. Today's video on what is communism, how communism works, who gives the theory of communism, types of communism, countries which were practiced communism, adventure and disadvantages of communism. So let's start. The person who invented communism was Karl Marx, a German philosopher who wrote the Communist Manifesto in 1848. Marx developed the theory and method of communism in response to the Industrial Revolution and the exploitation of workers. He was influenced by other thinkers, such as Friedrich Engels, who co-authored the Communist Manifesto with him, and Georg Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel, who developed the dialectical method of reasoning. Marx is considered the father of communism, although he did not use the term himself. He preferred to call his system scientific socialism or historical materialism. Communism is a political and economic system that aims to create a classless and stateless society based on common ownership of the means of production and distribution. It is derived from the ideas of Karl Marx, who advocated for a revolutionary overthrow of capitalism and the establishment of a socialist society that would eventually evolve into communism. Communism is often contrasted with capitalism, which is based on private ownership and profit. There are different types of communism, such as Marxism, Leninism, Maoism, Trotskyism, Stalinism, and Eurocommunism. Some of these are more radical and authoritarian than others, and some have adapted to the changing political and economic conditions of the world. Some of the countries that have adopted or claim to adopt communism are China, Cuba, Vietnam, Laos, and North Korea. Communism has been a controversial and influential ideology in the history of the 20th and 21st centuries. It has inspired many social movements, revolutions, and wars, as well as many criticisms and oppositions. Some of the benefits of communism are that it can promote equality, solidarity, and cooperation among people, and that it can eliminate exploitation, oppression, and poverty. Some of the drawbacks of communism are that it can limit individual freedom, creativity, and diversity, and that it can lead to totalitarianism, corruption. According to the Oxford Dictionaries, communism is defined as a theory or system of social organization in which all property is owned by the community and each person contributes and receives according to their ability and needs. Communism was implemented in Russia in 1917 by the Bolsheviks led by Vladimir Lenin and Leon Trotsky, who overthrew the Tsarist regime and established the Soviet Union. Communism was implemented in China in 1949 by Mao Zedong, who led the Communist Party of China to victory over the nationalist Kuomintang in a civil war. There were some differences between the communism in Russia and China, such as the role of peasants, the attitude towards Stalin, the degree of repression and censorship, and the adaptation to changing circumstances. Some of the benefits of communism are It reduces the impact of socioeconomic differences in society. When communism is enforced by the government, everyone except the top tier of government officials is on the same footing. There are few distinctions between urban or rural households. Each person plays a contributing role to the success of the country. It provides universal education, healthcare, and social services for everyone. Communism advocates for free and equal access to these basic needs, which can improve the quality of life and well-being of the people. It eliminates poverty, hunger, and homelessness. Communism aims to create a society where everyone owns everything in common and works for the common good. There is no private property, money, or markets, which means there is no exploitation, greed, or scarcity. It fosters a sense of community and solidarity among people. Communism supports the emancipation of women and the ending of their exploitation. It also promotes international cooperation and peace, as opposed to nationalism and War 23. There are many possible reasons why communism failed in different countries, but some of the most common ones are. Communism did not encourage creativity and innovation, which are essential for economic growth and social progress. Communism valued utilitarianism and conformity over individuality and diversity. Communism did not allow for free markets and prices, which are necessary for efficient allocation of resources and coordination of production. Communism relied on central planning, which was often inaccurate, inflexible, and wasteful to uh. Communism did not respect human rights and freedoms, which are the basis of democracy and civil society. 
Communism oppressed and exploited its own people, causing widespread discontent, resistance, and rebellion. Communism did not adapt to changing circumstances and challenges, which are inevitable in a complex and dynamic world. Communism was rigid and dogmatic, unable to cope with new technologies, environmental issues, and global competition. Three. That's all about communism. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified of more videos like this. I would love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.